Hey friends, this is Sripa. Revising for exam and keeping what you have revised in your head has always been a challenge for me and I'm sure that's also the case for most of you. However, I learned a few tips and techniques along the way and in this video, I will explain how you can study or revise for your exam so that you don't forget what you have studied during the exam. This happened to me very often and to most of you I guess. You have studied for an exam for the entire semester, but during the exam, you forgot most of the things you have studied, even that chapter that you have studied repeatedly. You are also faced with questions that you have no idea which chapter it came from. So why does this happen? This is probably because when you start to revise a subject, you always start with the first chapter of the book and as a result, you know that first chapter pretty well. But for consequent chapters, your understandings gradually declines. Because you are always studying the first chapter and always too tired or too bored to read the last one. Not only in most cases the first chapters are introductory, it is the later chapters that could have been most useful for you in the exam. But unfortunately, you don't have grasp on those. A good way to beat this is to start from the middle. All of this happens because of a concept called the forgetting curve. This is a simple curve that shows how your memory retention declines over time. This means what you studied, you may have forgotten 20% of it by tomorrow and maybe 50% of it by the next day and probably you will forget the entire thing in a few days. But there is a way you can beat this forgetting curve and that is through space repetition. That is revising the topic again when your memory retention is at for example 50% to bump it back up to 100% again and doing it repeatedly. The more you do this, the more you will retain the memory of the topic and beat the forgetting curve. We often create a timetable for ourselves to do this exact repetition, where we plan to repeatedly revise certain topics on a certain day. But the problem with that is that it's hard to stick with that plan and we often miss to do what we are supposed to do in such time slots. Furthermore, we end up revising the same topic we know very well. Whereas in that slot, we could revise the topic that needs more revision. An excellent technique to solve this problem is what you can call a retrospective revision timetable. This is something I learned from Ali Abdal, huge respect. The unique feature here is that you don't set time and date for a certain chapter. Rather, you input the date after you revise the chapter on that day. And you also mark how well you knew that concept on that day. Let me explain. This is easily doable in a simple Excel sheet or a Google Sheet. On the first column, simply divide your syllabus into different chapters, concepts or different sections. On the following column, you can put today's date on the sections that you have revised today. You can also color code the date based on your understanding of it. Red meaning your understanding is poor in it and thus needs more revision. Yellow meaning you somewhat understand the topic but needs a little bit of revision to understand fully. And green meaning you are well versed in that topic and probably does not need frequent revision on it. So when you come back to this list the next day, you either prioritize the topics that are marked red or those that were revised quite a long ago. Maybe more than one red chapters are hard on you. You can always mix and match and revise a red, a yellow and a green that you haven't revised in a long time. Your ultimate goal is to reach green for all chapters before the exam. Even if you don't, you know very well before the exam day by looking at the table which chapter you need to focus more on to do well. Amazing technique, right? This also gamifies your learning as you can always see your progress up front. Seeing this data will either warn you about not having progressed much when you have time and not the night before your exam or will boost your confidence and provide your mental peace that you have not much left to cover. There will never be nothing that you do not know at all. However, I prefer to do all of this in my most favorite app called Notion. Because in Notion, I can also save all my notes on the first column as each block in a Notion table can be easily turned into a page. I can also categorize them according to the subject or according to how well my understandings are in those chapters. Obviously here too, I can input the date I revised that chapter. Not only that, I can also sort these items according to date or even category using these simple formulas. I would love to talk more about these excellent features of Notion in a separate video. So please subscribe if you want more contents like this one. Hope this helped you. If you like this, please drop a like 
so that this video can be recommended by the YouTube algorithm to others out there. Thanks for watching. See you later.